It looks like Tesla is going to use new cameras with mind-blowing specs. Rumors suggest that Tesla is going to integrate Sony's IMX490 camera, which has mind-blowing specs with outstanding HDR capabilities. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And please give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. So not a Tesla app website publishes a story saying at least at Tesla's AI Day event last summer, Elon Musk answered some questions during the Q&A portion of the event that revealed Tesla's plans for FSD hardware. Elon informally announced that Tesla is already researching the next major hardware revision for full self-driving. Elon Musk said that he expects the current hardware in today's Tesla vehicles to be capable of superhuman driving, but Tesla will continue to update its cars to have the most powerful hardware hardware available. Elon Musk guessed that Tesla may release FSD hardware 4.0 with the introduction of the Cybertruck. Since the Cybertruck won't be released until the end of this year, at the earliest, we may even see new hardware before Cybertruck's arrival, although this is kind of unlikely. In another question related to new hardware, Elon also said that Tesla is looking into new cameras. He was clear that the current cameras aren't a hindrance, but if Tesla can do better, then they will. Elon didn't go into details about whether the new cameras would be tied to the Cybertruck or hardware 4.0. He also didn't mention specifically whether the new cameras would be higher resolution, contain larger sensors, or possibly even be placed in different locations. Tesla currently utilizes three separate front-facing cameras in the housing at the top of the windshield. The camera on the unit contains wide-angle standard and narrow-view lenses with three separate uh, CMOS sensors. Each sensor has a resolution of 1280 uh, uh, 960 or about 1.2 megapixels. Now let's talk about the new camera. According to Chris Zheng on Twitter, who has connections with some Tesla suppliers, Tesla is planning to use Sony's new IMX490 automotive sensor in its upcoming hardware 4.0. 4.0 revision. This new sensor offers many benefits over the current sensors that Tesla uses in its vehicles. The new sensors support a much higher resolution um, of uh, 2,896 versus 1,876. That's 5.4 megapixels compared to the 1.2 megapixels that Tesla's currently front-facing cameras support, which I just mentioned. At more than four times the resolution of current sensors, these new sensors will allow Tesla to more accurately detect objects that are required for full self-driving. Detecting road edges and lane markings that are further away are uh, especially difficult, friends. Due to the angle of the road and the current image resolution, Tesla often has to make assumptions based on just a few pixels. Uh, the increased resolution will offer a more detailed image and should improve the accuracy in these situations. The new wide-angle sensor may also allow Tesla to drop the number of cameras used in the front-facing module. Due to the high resolu resolution in these sensors, Tesla may be able to use this wide-angle sensor to interpret objects that previously required the use of the standard or telephoto lenses before. This may allow Tesla to reduce the number of cameras that are required in the front of the vehicle from three down to two or even a single lens. The new camera sensor also supports HDR shooting at 10 bit and 4D FPS, offering better contrast and richer colors. It's not clear whether Tesla would take advantage of HDR as it would require more power to process, but it's something Tesla may consider depending on the computer power available. More importantly, the new sensor will also support LED flicker mitigation. Camera sensors often have a hard time 
capturing the light emitted from LED lights in a constant fashion. Since LEDs are widely used in electronic signs and traffic lights, this will be an important feature and should make it easier for Tesla to interpret such signs. Tesla is working closely with Samsung to produce its next generation chips that will be used in FSD hardware 4.0. Tesla will likely launch updated cameras at the same time they introduce the new FSD computer. It makes sense for Tesla to introduce this new hardware in a new model first before retrofitting new camera modules into existing models. So what do you think? Do you think Tesla will introduce this new hardware and new cameras in a new model in the new upcoming affordable model or maybe in the a cyber truck, which we expect at the end of this year or early next year. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news now. And uh, let me know what do you think about Tesla's FSD hardware 4.0 using cameras with LED flicker mitigation. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. We have some breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas about the first new Tesla Model Y vehicles spotted at Giga Factory. Texas. Do you remember that last week I reported several reports, filed several reports in which I said that from what we see, Tesla Giga Texas has already started the production at Giga Factory Texas. Today we're seeing the first new Tesla Fresh model wise at Giga Factory Texas and we're going to take a look at them very closely. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So fresh batch of new Tesla Model Y vehicles built at Giga Factory Texas were recently spotted at Giga Texas in Austin, the electric vehicle manufacturer's new headquarters. Speculations suggest, uh, reports Tesla Radi, that uh, these sightings could be one of the first fresh batches of Model Ys produced at Giga Texas. I like the color, I like the look. While there were only a few Model Ys, the sight hint at at least trial production has started at Giga Texas. The latest development aligns, developments actually align with Wedbash analyst Dan Ives' estimate earlier last week, um, this month, so, so that the Texas Giga Texas, actually Tesla Giga Texas would start Model Y production in the next 7 to 10 days. He also stated that testing was nearly complete and Tesla was ready to get the green light for Giga Texas. I I think they were then doing some paperwork. Tesla certainly seems more than ready to kick off Model Y production at Giga Texas. There have been quite a few exciting developments at the new Giga Factory since 2022 began on January 6th. More solar panels from Longi Green Energy were seen on Giga Texas roof, as I reported earlier around that time. Last week, Giga Texas received a new batch of Giga Press deliveries for the Model Y. You can see, guys, all of those reports at Torque News YouTube channel. Tesla started Giga Press test back in May 2021, and a few photos of the Mega casts were shared with the public. The mega casts looked identical to those used in the Model Y. Tesla also confirmed that it produced a few alpha prototypes of the Cybertruck, though there have been no sightings yet of deliveries pertaining to the vehicle's 8,000 ton Giga Press. Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start Model Y production soon. Tesla said its quarter four and uh, FY 2021 earnings call for Wednesday, January 2026, actually January 26, 2022. Elon Musk stated he would provide a production roadmap at the earnings call. Tesla may also provide an update on both Giga Texas and Giga Berlin during call. Now, Jeff Roberts, who often flies drones like the uh, Joe Tegmeyer over Giga Factory Texas shared a picture on a bunch of brand new Model Y vehicles uh, uh, charging at the factory. So credit for this picture goes to Jeff Roberts. And uh, these Model Ys look brand new out of the factory, but uh, it can't be confirmed that they were produced at Giga Factory Texas, albeit likely or to what extent they were built there. So um, if you have more information about the situation with Giga Factory Texas, 
Texas Model Y or Giga Berlin Model Y or any other interesting Tesla info, friends, feel free to reach out uh, uh, to me uh, through the uh, contact information on our YouTube channel uh, or our Twitter. Again, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I look forward to hearing your comments. What do you think about these images shared by Jeff Roberts, friends? And uh, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel for the follow-ups on these and Giga Berlin and Tesla issues. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And give us thumbs up. Please like this video if you found this report helpful. I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.